Hi. Welcome to our account schedule series in Dynamics 365 Business Central. I'm Lynn Braden, a Dynamics 365 Business Consultant at Western Computer. Today, we'll be covering Part 1, how to update account schedules using subcategories. Let's start with the chart of accounts. As you know, each GL account has a number, a name associated, whether or not it's the income statement or balance sheet GL account, has a category of assets, liabilities, equity, income, cost of goods sold, or expense, and also has a subcategory. These subcategories are what I want to mention today and what their purpose is and how they drive the creation and the upkeep of your account schedules. So let's start with what the account schedules look like now. Here are your account schedules that are out of the box with your BC environment. There's some that are associated with specific charts, and these last four are driven by and updated by your subcategories on your GL accounts. So if I go into one to edit it, you'll get an error message saying this account schedule may be automatically updated by the system, so any changes you make may be lost. Do you want to make a copy? And this is just stating this because it is driven by the subcategories, and so if you edit it, it may mess things up a little bit. I'm going to say no. This is how the structure is built. And in past versions of NAV, let's say you had to or you did update your GL accounts. You added a few. You would have to come into these account schedules and manually either add them to one of your total lines here, your new GL accounts, or possibly you'd have to go in here and create a new line with a different name, with well, different number, name, and add your GL accounts in here. This was not an automated thing. Now, luckily, that's not necessary. Let's take a look at the categories list. Now, here's the full list of every single GL account subcategory. There's a couple things to mention on this page. There's these two boxes over here. One, GL accounts in the category, which is if you highlight a line, you can see which GL accounts make up that line. Here's another one. Here's the same. You get the idea. This box down here, GL accounts without a category, gives you an idea if there's any GL accounts that are missing a subcategory. So in other words, would not show up on your account schedules. So if you notice, there's four here that are WIP accounts. So how do we fix that? First off, I think I would like to add a line here. First, we have to edit the list. Come in here, click New, and have it a name, call it WIP. And then we need to assign the GL accounts to this subcategory line. So you can manually type in the GL accounts here or arrange using two dots in between. And if you notice that took the two out of this box because now they've been assigned. There's another way to assign your subcategories to your GL accounts. Let's go back to your chart of accounts. And if you notice, here's the two GL accounts that do not have a subcategory associated with it. So all you do is open it up, search on the list, click on the subcategory, and if you'd like, let's use a toggle to move to the next GL account. Assign that subcategory. 
and then we're done. Let's go back to our categories list. And now you see that there's nothing left in this box here, meaning there's nothing we need to worry about. There's no GL accounts that would be missing. So now what? Does it mean since I've added this line that it automatically updated our account schedules? Not quite, not yet. Go up to edit list, process, generate account schedules. Now they've been updated all four, if need be, from the account schedules that came out of the box. So let's go back and take a look at the account schedule that we updated. Got our balance sheet. And instead of trying to open it this time, let's just do an overview. If you notice, this line is now added automatically. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how simple it is to update your account subcategories and your account schedules, and it makes it very easy moving forward. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all things dynamics and to be notified of additional videos within our account schedule series. Feel free to contact us at westerncomputer.com if you have any questions. Thanks so much.